What's up guys, Spinfirearms here, and this is my Glock 26L. And this is the version where everything is attached to the slide. You don't have to get this extra piece um, and attach it to your slide. It all comes as one. It takes a Glock 19 barrel, but everything else is Glock 26, including the guide rod. Now, when, it, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, everyone always talks about how they love the 19, love the 19, I even love the 19. But my favorite firearm is the 26. So I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and give this a try. Because to be honest, this is what they should have originally made. You know, this is the part where it's hard to conceal. Whereas this is the part that gives you accuracy, velocity, and all that. Um, so you'd think Glock would have came out with this. But they didn't. They came out with the 43X and stuff like that with only 10 rounds with a flush mag. Now what I like about the 26 is even if you only get two fingers on it, you can still shoot it perfect. I mean... It doesn't really matter if I get that third you know, finger on it, my pinky, but with the 10 round mag, I think you're okay in any self-defense situation, especially if you have a backup mag. And that's always been my uh, motto. I also keep a backup firearm in my pocket, the FN 503. But I love the Glock 26. So this is basically a hybrid of two of my favorite firearms. I threw on the ghost ring sights, which are actually pretty awesome. Uh, now the problem is when I got these in, the front sight was messed up right out of the box, so I called them and they are shipping me the correct front sight. So what I realized is this sight isn't the proper height up front, so you have to make adjustments um, to get accurate shots, but it's not a big deal. This thing shoots so smooth. For how small this firearm is, I mean, this thing is probably one of the best shooting subcompacts out there. I still consider it subcompact because the part that you're trying to conceal is still subcompact size. And then 10 plus one, 11 rounds, that's just fine. Plus you're getting the accuracy and velocity was gonna help you get shots on target. Um, I've seen, when I made a Glock 19 versus Glock 26L comparison, everyone went with the Glock 19. And I don't understand why. Maybe you just haven't shot this yet. But when it comes down to it, I like concealability and I like being comfortable. I don't like having to readjust. I don't like any of that. And people say, oh, get a good holster. That's not always the case. Sometimes a firearm just doesn't sit on your body very well. Um, and I also don't need big firearms to shoot accurate or fast. So this was definitely the ultimate build for me. I have the Glock 48, which I really, really like as well. So it's basically that concept. Although the difference is the grip, the size of the grip and being able to conceal it. I actually love this um, build. It's probably one of my favorite things. And we will be doing a shooting video and review on it this weekend. So uh Go ahead. And also, just to let you guys know, it does have all Glock internals. It does have a 3.5 pound Ghost Ink um, connector. And then for the barrel, we just got a regular Bear Creek Arsenal, you know, $70 barrel or whatever it was, $60. But it seems to be decent. It's a great shooter. And um, yeah, you'll see this weekend when I post videos. Thanks for watching.